Welcome all. In this tutorial, I am going to create an online snacks ordering system using ASP.NET 5 Razor Pages and for the first time in all my tutorials, I am going to use Visual Studio Code, which is a great IDE, but it is very general purpose. You can use it with any programming language practically, even with Python, Data Science and PHP. So let's start with the part one and let me tell you that this is a step-by-step -step Razor Pages tutorial which demonstrates how to create Razor Pages application from scratch and how to add common functionality to it including communicating with the database, working with forms and sending email. Now before proceeding with the rest of the tutorial today, let me show you how the finished product looks like. So this is the logo, Snackomania. Now as I told you in the beginning that this is a online ordering system for Indian snacks and uh, um, some desserts. So we have got a choice of just six of these uh, stuff. And uh, if you click on, this is the uh, Snackomania logo. So if you click on the Snackomania logo, so every time the product changes, this is a featured product. Now you can either order from here or um, if you want to order any of these other products, you can either click over here or click from here. And if you click on, any of these links it will come up with this order placement if you click on uh, email address you have to give it an email address and you have to give a shipping address and you can place order but if you don't fill any of these uh, um, texts and click on place order so this will be validated so let us give it a email address and some shipping address And quantity one two three four you can just change the quantities and place order and then it will come up with a confirmation page so this is the order confirmation page and we have sent a confirmation email thank you for your business and enjoy and if you click on this extra where i have configured to receive this email and if you refresh you'll have this email from snackomania okay so let's now switch over to our course and see what are the you know um, command line instruction that we'll be using and what are the prerequisites see the pre prerequisites now the first prerequisites assuming that you are starting from scratch and you don't know anything about the .NET core you have to install it from here so if you click on this link this is from uh, .net.microsoft.com slash download and i will put it in the link in the description okay and the you have to note that you need the software development kit or SDK that includes the runtime. So basically, if you click onto this link, let's click and go to this link. So you have to download the .NET Core, .NET 5. Basically, this is the current version of actually. Now it has merged in .NET 5, .NET Core and the uh, .NET framework which was this one so it is recommended you can download it from here okay and .NET SDK x64 if you have got a 64 bit computer now another requirement is that you need the Visual Studio code which can be downloaded from here so if you click on this link it will take it to this link code.visualstudio.com you can download for Windows stable build so assuming that you don't have both of these prerequisites so here is a command line instructions cheat sheet because we will be using command line terminal in visual studio as we will soon see now for creating a new razor pages application you have to open a command window on or the vs code terminal window and issue this command dot net new web app or dot net new razor will create a razor pages application and you need to first create a folder in your local drive with the project name and change path to that folder which we will soon see don't worry about that this step will very soon be following in uh, practice and secondly you'll have to build and run the application with dotnet run okay so let's see the visual studio code and do our bit now i have opened my visual studio code which i have already downloaded and installed and I have an updated version and by default it browses it takes me to that C uses Kaushik and now my D drive is my data drive so I will change it to the D drive so D colon 
so now it has changed me to the d drive from the c drive now here let me um, change the directory to my projects directory cd projects so it is changed to um, d projects directory now those of you who wish to learn more about visual studio code if you are doing it from the first time then you can click on here get started with visual studio code and you can learn okay or you can see in the internet for visual studio code how to get going with the visual studio all right so this tutorial is about using visual studio code instead of visual studio 2019 so which is an equivalent way and many developers prefer visual studio prefer visual studio code over visual studio 2019 okay so d projects and then i will issue a command make directory command make directory is a, to create a new directory so make directory um, let's say snacks razor pages okay so it's already created okay as you can see over here and then i can cd a change directory to the snacks razor pages it's not allowing me to copy somehow for some reasons so snacks razor pages so now i'm inside the snacks razor pages now i have to give this command which is again dot net new web app so now if i give this command dot net new web app or even razor dot net new razor will do the same thing then it will create a project with that same name snacks razor pages now you can see that uh, all these steps that are being followed so restore succeeded running dot net restore on this so it will not only create the project but it was um, it will also restore the i mean dot net all the dependencies so now it has come back to my um, present directory which is d project snacks reserve pages now let's inspect this um, uh, new application okay so open folder in new window let's see now that is another step yes i trust the author okay and see here if you this is the folder uh, this is the folder and uh, snacks razor which is already there okay so properties is created ww root is created in which there is css file site dot css javascript and lib okay bootstrap is all bootstrap required um, folders are already created and then jquery jquery validation it's automatically created and with the program file and startup file for those of you who are already accustomed to using with asp.net core in uh, AS, uh, visual studio 2019 id or even visual studio code you will be knowing already so for those because it is meant for people who are starting from the beginning who have got some programming knowledge so let me talk about these different um, uh, pages you know the, the 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 hierarchy of the directory structure and even before that let's see the project in the uh, file explorer or windows explorer to actually see where it is it is actually formed or not the way we would like it so there you are the project snack razor pages and you've got this bin object pages properties and ww root folder plus all of this stuff you know this is app settings.json program.cs and the project file and the startup so let's talk about them in a bit so this bin folder you know um, where it is bin folder okay so this bin folder contains the output of a build operation the compiled binaries for the application there is nothing much there at the moment just a folder named debug okay debug folder is there and it has got another folder dotnet 5.0 because we are working on dotnet 5 and the application hasn't been built yet that will happen soon okay now the object folder contains a variety of files so 
you will hardly ever need to access this folder except to perhaps delete its conti contents entirely. It is used by the framework as a place to store temporary files and other objects used in the build process. And then you have got this launch settings.json file. This is a JSON file which actually has which carries the SSL information about the application URL and the SSL port and the environment. This is the development environment and the application URL. It is this is the port number on the HTTP and this is the port number 5001 on the HTTPS. Okay, this is a configuration file. And at the root of the application consists of two files. Um, there are five files. So these are the two files app settings.json and app settings.development.json and these contain application configuration information as you can see detailed errors logging logging information so this is the basic this is the bare minimum of the app settings.json file created with the template when you build the project first okay now they are equivalent to app settings section in the web.config file of the previous version of asp.net which was actually web web form okay those who had the chance of working with web forms like myself we had encountered web config file and this is the app settings section of the both these json files are equivalent to the app settings section of the web config file now the version with development in its name will only be used when the application is running in the development mode now this cs project file where is the cs project file uh, that is the cs project okay it's next cs project dot nuget nuget and this is the project file now this is the project file now this contains the project settings you know and references to files used by the project and now ms build microsoft build uses this file to configure the actual build process of the application now all asp.net core applications are actually console applications the default entry point into any console application is the main method so this is the um, program.cs this is the main method okay um, now okay this main method is responsible for configuring a web host okay it's configuring a web host it is calling the create host builder which is configuring a web host for the application and launching it so that it is ready to serve requests and now the startup file is a another this startup file you have got configure services and configure methods so configure services is called by runtime and is this method is used to add services to the container okay and this configure method is used to configure the application's middleware or request processing pipeline, optional components that the application needs and the services that it relies on. And then finally, there is the www root file, which has got this CSS, static assets, CSS and JavaScript and the, even the images. Right. And finally, the pages folder. This pages folder here the pages folder it is the default location for razor pages the template site includes three error index and privacy you will add to this shortly now let's build and run the application with a dot net run so click let's click on um, view and then terminal this terminal window will open and now then we'll issue this dot net run it's building the application first. Now you should get these confirmations. You know, it is listening on this port, this um, URL with this link, with this port, port number 5000 on the local host and for the um, HTTP base, it is listening on this. And let's control and click. and lo and behold you have got your first application which we will build in the subsequent lectures